A long season of racing comes down to this, the curtain closing event to the 2021 campaign for the NASCAR Mistcraft Cup Series. More than 20 drivers competed in every single race trying to make it to the top, but only four have successfully scratched and clawed their way to this point to try to snatch that elusive championship trophy. Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Larson, and Martin Tricks Jr., the four drivers with a shot at glory today in Kansas, who will stand victorious at this mile-and-a-half monster with the title of champion. And three of these drivers are trying to go for their first title, their first hoist of the trophy, but Ryan Blaney is the only one trying to do it a second time. He was the season four champion with two wins in that season, and he's looking to repeat that once again here today. Let's go ahead on down trackside to our pit race reporters. I talked to Chase Elliott's crew chief before the race, and he says he is expecting a fast race car today. They brought a brand new car to Kansas, and he said that he feels Kendrick has finally found their stride by winning two of the last three races. So watch out for this nine car today. Eddie. Well, Ryan Blaney is the only driver in the Final Four going for a second Miss Craft Cup Series championship. His win at Talladega was the one that broke the winless streak that dated all the way back to the day he won the title in Dover. He ran top 10 at the Kansas race that year as well, so look out for a competitive YRB today. This Final Four appearance for Kyle Larson came as a surprise to him and his team, to say the least. He told me before the race he thought he drove terribly throughout the season and he wouldn't even have a chance to win or fight for the title. He's riding the most momentum out of everybody else with that win at Martinsville, and that five car sure has come to life late this season. Was it too late? Martin Truex Jr. barely squeaked into the Final Four by winning a tiebreaker at Martinsville. Truex has run in the top five this season more than any other driver, but doesn't have the finishes to show for it. He's looking to battle back from all of the adversity and capitalize on his team's year-long speed to go for that elusive championship trophy. You look at your starting grid on run number one, you have Kyle Busch and the first of the championship contenders, Ryan Blaney. You have Brad Keselowski, Christopher Bell, Bubba Wallace, and another one, Chase Sellett right back there in six. They have Kurt Busch and William Byron, the season six champion. And then row number five, running your top ten are the last two of the championship contenders and Kyle Larson and Martin Truex Jr. They have Hamlin, Logano, Bowman, Harvick, Custer, and Chastain. And then row number nine, 17th and 18th right here, Matt DiBenedetto, Eric Amarola. Running your top 20, Tyler Reddick and Eric Jones. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Daniel Suarez, Austin Dillon, and Ryan Newman. And rounding out your field here today is going to be Corey LaJoy, Chase Briscoe, Chris Buescher, and Michael McDowell. And there you have it, it's the 28 car field. It's for the final time this year. The cars roll off of the pit lane. Kyle Busch leads us around, around the right behind the Toyota Super Pace car. And this is it, the final race of the season. 15 laps is the distance. 28 drivers and the best finish of the final four will win today's ch championship. Everyone came in tied in points in the top four. Uh, with the points reset at 500, and here come the drivers now, looking for a championship. Coming off of turn number four, Kyle Busch leads us to the green flag in the season finale of 2021. And down at turn number one, Kyle Busch gets away with the lead. The Pitsky's teammates are side by side, but here comes Christopher Bell off the top side. Three wide, narrowly getting to the outside of Ryan Blaney there, and he's going to look for second down the back straight away. Down to turn number three now, Joe Gibbs racing so single file now as side by side for the championship lead. Elliott tried to go to the outside of Ryan Blaney, but Kyle Busch leads lap number one of the day. Three wide right there for Martin Drix Jr. on the outside of Byron and Kozlowski. Looking to the outside of the nine of Elliott, he gets pinched a little bit there. And here comes Shrix back to the inside, but Elliott has the run and he'll cross it over on Ryan Blaney. And Chase Elliott now going to go to the championship lead. He's up to third now behind the JGR teammates. And he leads off turn four. But here comes Blaney with another attack to the inside of the line. But Chase Elliott is going to have the outside lead run into turn number one. And he's going to have the advantage through that corner and onto the back straightaway. Now, whoa, Blaney gets a little bit sideways there off the inside of the racetrack. That allows the 19 of Truex and the 5 of Larson now to attack on the outside lane. Blaney now going to hug that white line once again on the inside of the lead. As here comes Chase Elliott. Martin Truex Jr. nose to tail across the line. Kyle Busch continues to lead. Back to turn one, right up against the outside wall. There goes his teammates pinning sideways back behind him. Christopher Bell goes around right in front of the championship leaders, and somehow they avoid a spinning number 20 machine in turn number one. Let's see what happened here. He just got into the corner a little bit loose, and look at the 19 and the 9 cars just barely avoid making contact with the 20 car. The back end goes around on the 20. Look at the 9 lock up his tires, and Truex also had to make an evasive maneuver, veering to the right right here. Right there up into turn number one. Look at Truex just take a hard right nearly into the side of the number nine car. And everyone gets away unscathed here in Kansas. And Christopher Bell, the only damage to that is going to be a new set of tires on that number 20 machine. 
And uh, wow, what, an, what a crazy move right there for those guys to avoid chaos. And here's the choose rule for the first time today. The Super leads the Toyotas to the outside lane. The teammates choose the top, leaving the door open for other championship contenders in the 9 of the 12 cars. And we'll see how that affects the running order for the championship and how it may affect the choices being made. We're going to come back to the restart on lap number 6 here today out of 15. Green flags back in the air for Kyle Busch. A good shove for the 19 of Martin Strikes Jr. Here comes Hendrick, teammates off the outside lane. Three wide for second for Kyle Larson, trying to look for the championship lead. Oh, trouble back behind him. Hard crash up into the air. Goes to the 43 there, Jones. Massive, massive impact from the 42 of Ross Chastain. Caution is out. Oh, and the red flag's gonna be thrown as well as everyone stomps on the front straightaway. Red flag here, big incident in turn number two. The 43 of Eric Jones caught air off the front end of the 42. A big impact right there. One into the wall and then one off the front end of the 42. It looks like the 43 was trying to get in line in front of the number 11 car, get below the 22, got hooked. And then that car overcorrected right up into the wall. Big hit right there from the 42 of Chastain as well. And uh, hopefully those two are, are okay. A big lick right there for those two Chevrolet Camaros in turns one and two here in Kansas. And uh, both of them are on the hook and headed out here. Uh, tough, tough luck for those guys. They'll be the first exit of today's race. Um, a big hit once again. So hopefully they are, are okay. And uh, their season is done early. And there you can see Denny Hamlin on pit road getting a pull of some of that damage that he got from the incident and a fresh set of tires. And here we are back to the choose rule. Kyle Busch goes outside once again. Elliott chooses the inside for the front row. And it looks like they're going to line up just about the exact same as the last restart here. And it'll be restarting a lot number eight here today in Kansas. Green flags and come back in the air once again. Bush leads. Can anybody beat him? Green flags back in the air. Back to turn number one. He'll barely clear the number nine of Chase. Elliott here is Truex on the outside lane trying to fight back, but he won't be able to. Elliott clear with the championship lead of the back. Really here is Larson to the inside. Side draft from Ryan Blaney to keep him behind him. Back to turn three. Three wide for third. And oh, Chase Elliott's on the outside wall. And everyone has to stack up on the outside lane. That allows the 12 of Ryan Blaney now to take that championship lead. Things are switching hands very quickly here in Kansas. Blaney with the lead now with a little bit of a mistake from Chase Elliott as he's now running second trying to chase down the 18 of Kyle Busch and put a car between he and the 5 of Kyle Larson. But here comes Larson's teammate. Might be able to do just that for him. Here comes Byron to the inside. He was your season 6 champion. Missed out on the final four this year. Looking at the outside of Ryan Blaney for second now. Trying to put charge on the number 18 of Kyle Busch for the lead. And here's Kyle Larson now trying to get around that number 12 of Ryan Blaney and turns one and two right up to the back bumper off turn number two. And down the back straight with that five car putting a lot of pressure on that 12 of Ryan Blaney with just five laps to go in this race. Blaney down to the white line. Larson up against the wall. Off turn four. Larson has the run. Blaney's going to throw the block. And there's contact. Blaney spins hard to the outside retaining wall. And he spins into the grass. Single car solo spin. Big impact into the outside retaining wall. And the championship hunt for Ryan Blaney is over. No second title for him this season. And Ryan Blaney, heartbroken. A big, massive impact off of turn number four. And right at the start finish line ends his championship hopes. And let's see how it happened. Off turn four, Larson looked low, looked back high. Blaney tried to cover. And a big impact after that car got squirrely with a little bit of a rear bumper contact from Kyle Larson. Let's see once he'll, once more, he went below that white line, tried to go back high. The car came out from underneath him and slammed hard, nose first into that outside wall. And look at this, this Menards machine, hard, just massive impact, lifting the rear tires off the ground. And a ma major, major crash for Ryan Blaney, trying to go for it all here and get that second championship trophy hard on the outside wall. And you see the 19 and the 9 cars right behind them, trying to avoid another big incident. Those two have had uh, their dance to death here today, uh, trying to avoid their crashes. But Ryan Blaney, not so lucky here. And uh, here we come to the choose rule once again. We will have three laps to go on this restart. Kyle Busch chooses the inside. And the number 24, Byron, goes to the inside, giving the five of Kyle Larson a run at the championship. He'll be on the front row for this restart alongside Kyle Busch. Truex, he will restart uh, fourth on the outside of row two. They have uh, Chase Elliott restarting in fifth. He's the last car in this race running for the championship. Three laps remain in this race and this season. And everyone's back on the lap pedal. Green flag's back in the air. There goes Byron swirly up the restart. That allows the 19 of Trucks get to the inside of Kyle Larson as Kyle Busch runs away with the lead once again. And here's Chase Slate now trying to rebound from that restart, trying to get up to the back end of the number five and the 19 machines back to turn number three. Here's Truex with the lead. Here's Larson to the outside lane. Kona, two laps to go. 
And Pomp Sickle sticks in the air for this season of the Mistcraft Cup Series. Larson to the inside of Trix for the championship lead. And Larson has a nose out front to turn one, tries to squeeze Trix on the outside wall. Not going to be enough. Trix fights back on the outside lead. And he's going to have the run down the back straightaway right in front of Kyle Larson now. Lap and a half to go. Back to turn number three. Coming to the white flag. Larson's in the wall. There goes his momentum. And off of turn number four, Kyle Bush. He'll take the white flag as Martin Trix Jr. now holds the championship lead with his teammate Kyle Bush in front looking to become the first driver to win after leading every single lap of the race. And off of turn number two, down the back stretch for the final time. Martin Trix Jr. battled through adversity all season long, looking for glory today. He missed out of the Bristol Dirt Race. He won at the Miscraft Racing Complex Oval. Kyle Bush wins, and Martin Trix Jr. is your NASCAR Miscraft Cup Series champion. And what a performance from the 19 of Martin Strix Jr. to come out from all of this mayhem in this race. He got the doors opened up for him on the restart, got to the inside of Kyle Larson, and Larson battled back to the inside, tried to squeeze him and turn one with two to go. But Martin Strix Jr. stayed in the loud pedal right up against the wall, narrowly missing every little bit of the contact from that, and was able to come home and win the Miscraft Cup Series title. What a performance and what a season for Martin Strix Jr. He's been one of the most dominant all season long, one of the best performing as his teammate Kyle Busch wins and burns it down on the front straightaway. And here's the number 19 of Martin Strix Jr. with a championship flag in the window. He has won this championship and he'll get to hoist the trophy here today in Kansas. What a performance for Martin Strix Jr. all season long and tough luck for these Hendrick boys right here, Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott and especially so for Ryan Blaney who was wrecked out of the championship lead. And uh, here are the race results. Kyle Busch, Martin Trix Jr. They are the Joe Gibbs duo leading at the end of this race. We have Kurt Busch who took over Kyle Larson there at the end. Chase Elliott will finish fifth here today. Cole Custer will finish sixth. William Byron, your season six champion, was seventh. And here's a lot of the big names back here that were involved in some of the incidents like Christopher Bell who spun early on in front of the championship leaders. We have Denny Hamlin involved in that massive crash with Eric Jones and Ross Chastain. And, uh, of course, Ryan Blaine with that massive, massive impact, what seemed like reverse from what Talladega was with him and Kyle Larson. And here are the final point standings. Remember, the top four points got reset before this race to 500, and Martin Shrek Jr. comes out on top, of course, with a two-position advantage over Kyle Larson. And, of course, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaine there as well. And I see a lot of these guys back here. Uh, some of them at, towards the end didn't race every single race, but a lot of them uh, were also competitive in the last couple of seasons. Some of them have some wins this season, uh, like Chase Briscoe and Denny Hamlin, of course, here on the second page. And, uh, and here come the guys that uh, race only one or two races in this entire season. But uh, nonetheless, 36 uh, s uh, different drivers partook in uh, 10 races here this season. And what a race and what a season it has been. Thank you all to all the fans for watching this season. And once again, congratulations to Martin Triggs Jr. and all of his fans uh, for the championship here today. And, of course, for Kyle Busch winning here today in Kansas. And uh, what a season it was. We raced in the dirt. We raced in the rain. We raced from road courses all around the country. And here we are now at uh, this mile and a half monster at Kansas Speedway with what, a, what was a fantastic event to end down this season. And what a fantastic way to go out here. Once again, thank you all for uh, all the amazing support this season. I could not have done it without everyone watching and lending all the feedback and support from all of this. And uh, Stop Motion Racing will be back. Maybe not in the long season form, but something refreshing here in the Mr. Craft channel. So hopefully you guys are all excited for that. Once again, we've been able to crown a seventh champion here today, Martin Triggs Jr. He joins Dale Earnhardt Jr., Denny Hamlin, Daniel Suarez, Ryan Blaney, Jimmy Johnson, and William Byron as Mr. Craft Cup Series champions. From all the chaos, the crashes, the fights, the glory... And all the celebrations from this season, I want to thank you all once again for watching this, the seventh season, the 2021 campaign for the NASCAR Mystery Golf Cup Series, and well, we'll see you next time.